have a look everyone I'm just arrived at the hyena den and there is someone home uh, this is the the young or oh, youngish cub not the the completely young one that we saw last time but this is um how old is this one Seb? it must be about three four months old yeah i think yes yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this the one I think they called in Tima? Mm, the playful one. I think so. I'm not sure. I haven't seen any other hyena around here, so I'd... I don't know, this is the... I think only the second time I've seen this one. Um, the last time was about a month ago, so... There's no adult around the den at the moment that I can see. Maybe on the other side. I haven't had, we haven't had a look on the other side yet. No. Chris Rogue, you say this is in Tima. So, yeah, we're right. One of the... the um, Y young cubs, but there is the and the or oh, I actually don't know if there's one or two other really young cubs and um, they are still black in coloration because they are so young. We saw one the other day with the adult that was busy suckling outside the den. It's always nice to see the young hyena. I do think the young hyena are very cute. <laughs> Looks a little lonely. Kyle, you were asking if the hyenas are related to dogs. Um, Kyle, there's studies and scientists have shown that the hyena are actually more closely related to cats, believe it or not. Um, obviously, they take a look at teeth, foot structure, DNA. Um, but they... Yeah, they they reckon that it's close, more closely related to cats than to dogs. But um, but not in the the feline family at all. Obviously, they're in their own family, hyena day. Oh, you can hear the Franklins making a noise, crested Franklins. So loud. Oh. <laughs> Isn't that a wonderful view of that hyena? Beautiful golden light on it now. Hopefully it warms up a little, but it's still quite chilly. Patty, you asked if the hyena cubs are in danger while the mother's gone. So, Patty, it's highly unlikely that a predator will come through and just uh, try and get the cubs at the den. Usually if the cubs run down into the den, um, they would be safe in there. And Patty, to be honest, I've, I've never experienced hyena cubs being killed at the den. Um, I've never seen it. I haven't heard of it. Look, maybe if lions stumbled upon the den um, and saw this youngster, it could potentially be in danger, but it would just turn and run 
back into one of these holes and then the lions would most likely not be able to get it they wouldn't fit in there so Paddy I don't think they are in danger and like I say from what I've seen in the past hyena cubs are left at the den r regularly while the adults go off and scavenge and they return once or twice a day In the sky, and you were wondering if the cubs raise themselves. No, not at all. They're very reliant on the adults. Adults return to the den, um, allow, or well, the female, the, the, the mother at least, the alpha female, she will arrive back at the den and suckle the cubs. And, um, and then once they get to an age that they're able to move around with the clan or with an adult, they'll follow that adult around and try and scavenge food. It is. Can you hear those ground hornbills again? They're taunting us this morning. We'll have to try and find them. I've been trying to think and rack my brain of birds that we still need, that we might be able to get, but I can only think of about four or five. Although we've been we've been surprised by some wonderful new birds. Well, you asked how many hyena will occupy occupy a den like this. Now I read some, and I can't remember if it was in this book that I've got here. I'm going to look it up quickly, Will. <clears throat> but some clans can get really large and you can get up to 15 or 20 hyenas moving together in certain areas I'm sure up in East Africa they've got uh, they've got big clans and we can ask um, James and and Taylor about that but regularly now the hyena usually only have the female gives birth to one or two cubs um, that is, it's very rare to have more. Um, I think I've seen three, but usually it's one or two. Uh, but then what will happen is she may allow a, kind of a beta female, so the next in line in terms of the hierarchy, she will allow them to give birth or mate and give birth to cubs. And those cubs will also, also be raised at the den. Um, so I'm trying to think. The most youngsters I've seen at a den, I think about six or seven, varying in age, but about uh, six or seven youngsters around a den, and then some adults. <clears throat> so Carl, it, it, it varies constantly, it varies all the time. I don't know exactly, I can't give you an, an exact number because it changes. But um, I mean, here at the moment, from what I know, from what I've seen, I've seen one adult female here. I've seen this youngster, and I've seen that other uh, younger one that's probably only a few, uh, I thought it was about um, three to four weeks old, judging by the coloration, maybe a month old, but we didn't get a good look at it. So I've only seen three, but, um, but I'm sure the other hyena do return to this den at some point, the other clan members of this, well, of this clan. Alyssa, as I was, I was just mentioning now, and it's probably answered your question, is um, you asked, is it common for hyena to just have one cub? So it is, it's more common for them to have one or two cubs than more than that. They usually only have one or two.
No, and those hornbills are still calling in the distance. It's starting to warm up a little bit now as the sun rises or goes high into the sky. Very pleasant, a wonderful morning. Seb, if I doze off, just tap me on the head, won't you? <laughs> Very relaxing. And as I mentioned earlier, this is one of my favorite times of the day. These early mornings, these cool winter mornings. I know we are in spring, but it does feel like a winter morning. It's uh, nice and or warming up now after being quite cold. All right, I'll sit here for a few more minutes um, and see if we have any sign of the other youngster. But let's head across now to Taylor, who's got some beautiful elephant in the Mara.